welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to taste some American goodies. Because you know what this means. Food. It's fall and it's American food time. Yes! Let's go crazy and try <laughs> some goodies that we can't get in the UK. So, let's go. Let's try it. Let's do it. What should we do first? Good question. What should we do first? Mm. Well, if he wants to get the, uh, like a Dunkin' Donuts to um, pop salt, isn't there? Like a coffee uh, flavour. Yeah, I think it was like a, a caramel latte, a vanilla yeah. latte. But it's crazy. Okay. You can get them in the UK, but they're about seven, eight quid. And I'm not paying seven, eight quid for pop tarts, because let's be realistic. Pop tarts are not the greatest thing in the world. So we thought <laughs> we'll get these little beauties. So we found these. So we went for hot fudge sundae flavour. Yes. Um, but we were torn in flavours, wasn't we? There was that or s'mores flavour, I think. Okay. Um, so we got these ones. So it's hot fudge sundae flavour. Um, let's eat the box. Um, and I do like that the Pop Tarts have funny little <laughs> little cartoons on their box. Um, it's quite entertaining um, for the kids to read in the morning. Um, and a, a crazy good horoscope. Your popularity will be your undoing. Oh, Ooh. Oh, okay then. <laughs> um, and how to put them in the toaster. Well, in case you don't know how to put yeah, pop tarts I mean, in the toaster. Do you taste it earlier? See, 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 we tasted earlier. Um, so we will give them a try. Okay then, so let's give it a things. Now, I don't think this looks like a biscuit of some description. So it's just like, yeah. Like, Stodge. It smells like. Not sure what it smells like. like What's it supposed to be? Hot fudge sundae. Hmm. Does it smell like fudge? It smells, it smells like warm biscuit. It smells like warm sugary biscuit. Oh! It tastes like I'm eating a packet of sugar. <laughs> Wanted. The icing on top does taste it, make it taste like a bag of sugar. Uh, I'm eating a digestive biscuit with sugar on top. However, Normal pop tarts have like jam or something inside. These have like cream. Mm. Um, so it's like. Hmm. It does taste a little bit fudgy. It does. It does a little bit. Yeah. Though. No, not loads. They are more. Excuse me. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Can't talk and eat at the same time. But personally, I like this better than the nasty strawberry boring oh, ones. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. These are nice. It's not really oh. like a biscuit though, isn't it? Mm. They're not very um, puffy like normal pop parts. No, but they're cool. I like them. Um, I don't really like, like an ice cream sundae, but they're nice, aren't they? Isn't it hot, hot fudge sundae? It's meant to taste like cream and fudge and chocolate. No. I don't like a certain... Certain smell. Yeah, I think they'll be good for the um, morning pickup. But yeah, good. Ooh. I just got to the middle bit, it's like chocolatey with cream. Yeah, that's mm. awesome. I like them. Ready? Cool. Out of 10? Oh, um. Six. Six, definitely a six. It's not, it doesn't blow me away like the best food ever, but you know. I think they're more of a, I'd eat them as a dessert. Oh, yeah. Rather than a morning. Because there's not really anything of them. They're no. a bit flat and they've got a little bit of cream in the middle. I don't know if you can see. But they're very moorish. And they never look anything like they do on the box. But very moorish. Definitely nice. I like them. Mm. Mm. Anyway. That's that one. Moving on. Mm. We have some drink to try. Uh, root beer. So a bit of a story with this, isn't there? We went to Pizza Hut recently. Yep. And we had a black cherry cream soda on the menu. It was a. She got confused and gave us an ice cream. Float. Ice cream float. So they do it as an ice cream float or they do it on its own. You so, ended up with the ice cream float. Yeah, but as people have posted on my Instagram page and other stuff, excuse me, I've got Pop Tart all in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they had the, what was it, it was like a, a raspberry strawberry flavour, I can't remember now. No, it was black cherry. Black cherry. Black cherry. Oh. Made with real black cherry oh, essence, on. no additives, no 
I've never had um, it before in my life. I've never, I, I, I sort of give it a go. Imported from the States. So you wanted to check exactly that it was imported from the States and where it came from. And I had um, him and it was. And the, the and lady, the lady asked me in Pizza Hut, was it? And I said, How eh. was it? And he was apparently only the second person to try it. So it's new on the menu. So if you do have a Pizza Hut near you and you want a taste of that, go and These check it out. These beauties. So we see this in Tesco's. So Ooh. basically it was this one, wasn't it? It was Virgil's. Yep. Virgil's cream soda. Um, I'll show you a box, but it had black cherry flavour. Yeah, yeah. So, so um, but yeah, no. So we both got two of them. Well, we found in Tesco's. So we managed to find yep. the normal cream soda, and we found some root beer. Yeah. So we're going to try some root beer too. All right, um, root beer. Right. This is the thing. Right. We'll root beer at, at in the states. I had it when I had it. How it it, it was an acquired taste. I didn't give it enough justice. Today, I'm going to give it my other taste because these are very nice and see mm. what it tastes like. I seem to remember, wasn't it like aniseed? -y? Yeah. Like, but it's it... a big delicacy in the States, obviously, not yeah. UK much. I know you can get a few shops, but not many. Wasn't it made by a ABC or AW? AW, so it's saying AW, yeah, you, like would, that. you can mm. get them different you can places. You get it at the fountains. Look, but yeah, they, so we basically we've got this. It's got a guy looking, looks like a beer, looking at an imported mm. beer. It, it does look really cool. It doesn't, because our cream soda is like pale colour. Yeah, it's that like looks really awesome. Multi colour. Yeah. So you've got this, and then you've got the root beer version. The root beer version looks very cool. And then it's got some things at the back. So definitely a worth um, purchase. The boxes are very cool. cool. Um, and it is brewed, in case you want to know, it's brewed in California. Mm. Um, it doesn't say it on here, but the actual label that we had in the restaurant had. Uh, California on it. So, Reeds in Los Angeles, California. So, so should we give it a go? Um, so, which should we try first? Well, well, this... I would say that the root beer is probably quite strong. So, I would probably try the cream soda first. Alright, let's go. So let's try the cream soda first then. So, then let's get the old top off. It's like the old beer version. Like your bad or anything else. Which you are using your Millennium Fog and beer, yep. beer opener. So, let's go. Let's try this. Oh, very, very creamy, very tasty, very nice. How does it taste compared to normal cream soda here? It's got some textures and nice flavours to it. It's very cold as well, so it's been in the fridge. It's kind of nice flavour to it. It's very smooth. It's moorish, isn't it? What do you think? It's very creamy. It has a very creamy consistency. Oh, it does. But without being cream. Mm. And it's not got a... It's not got a massive sugary aftertaste, I don't think. No, but it's got some kick-ass flavours. You could you could drink a few of these. These, these go down well. It's very smooth. It's not massively fizzy. Because mm. normal sodas are normally massively yeah. fizzy. And what do you think? I like that. I'm not a massive fan of normal cream soda because it's no. quite... It's quite sharp and quite gassy. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? I could actually drink that. I mean, it's... I don't know whether the sugariness, <laughs> sugariness of the pop tarts has made it extra um, smoothie, sugary flavour. So, what do we get out there for our, our ten? I reckon. Out of ten, I'd give that an eight. Eight, eight for cream Definitely, soda. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes. Definitely really good. So we're going to go for the um, the root this beer. Is the root beer? No, nah. I'm not massively uh, no, looking for no, this. No, no, no. And I Does it smell? Give it a smell. Does it smell aniseed? -y? Oh God, that is proper aniseed. Proper aniseed, you know, kind Whoa, of. Whoa, that is like. Do you know what that reminds me of? That's if, do you know when you put deep heat on and it? it's like really strong? <laughs> it smells like deep heat. That's a good. That's a good sign, isn't it? But it does. Do you do the, the ingredients that they put in? Oh, yes. So let's let's <laughs> let's give this did little bad boy a go. Did so you... this is America's love. This or so, a sort of thing, don't Root they? Beer. Yeah. So, okay, then, let's give it a go. You went up your nose. You went up my nose, it was that strong. <laughs> You're not supposed to tip it back that far. Sorry, <laughs> it's going a bit crazy. Um, it tastes like kind of me medical, kind of. Mesidinol, mis yeah. Does that taste a bit like, because um, we recently had um, sarsaparilla? Yeah. Yeah, you um, try it, you try it. It's kind of like that. It does smell medicinal. Just drink some. Come on, stop, stop hyping it. Let's drink some. 
Whoa. Whoa, indeed. I'm trying to think what. Did there was a sweet you used to have when you was a kid, like cough. It's, it's, a cough, cough it's like a cough sweet. Um. It tastes like. But really like aniseedy. Yeah, but it tastes like cough mints. It tastes like. It doesn't. I. I don't. I don't know. You're supposed to enjoy drinking something. Do I people don't really enjoy, enjoy it? I don't, don't enjoy that. Sorry. A, a bottle no. full of aniseed. No. If no. you like aniseed, you will love this. Is this your love you and it's hate relation? I um, think it's this your love you and hate um, kind of like yeah, marmite. Like marmite, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. love it or you hate it. Yeah. Um, for me, it's a three. I'm going on four because of the smoothness of it compared to normal uh, root beer, but <laughs> you're still drinking it. I'll drink it because we bought it, but... I think I'll stick to the cream soda. It's not the greatest in the world. <laughs> you can drink that one, and I'm going to drink the cream soda. Mm, yeah, cheers. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> used to wishing that was a full, full flavour. Well, um, so now the last one. The last one that we've got, uh, we do yeah. usually like a uh, taste I'll, of. Should I talk about this a little bit? Yeah. I'll wait yeah, because basically we got these normally on the plane or something like this, don't you? When we've been to Florida a few times, and you'll give you like a little packet. A little packet of pretzels. Yeah. So that, I know obviously you get them if you go to um, like bars and things like that, they give you pretzels. So that's why we quite like them. But, well, we why did we pick these ones up? Because we thought they may be <laughs> strong and hot. And see how hot and strong they are. Well, said, I, picked, but, I picked them out because I like buffalo sauce. You do, yeah. Um, you only have buffalo wings with blue cheese dip. Oh, that's the most, especially uh, in the Hard Rock oh, Cafe. When we first went to the Hard Rock Cafe, they did the most fantastic wings. And not so great nowadays, but our first ever time in the Hard Oh, Rock. and were they hot? I tell you, they were so... Oh. They were hot, but the taste was like... He was good. So let's give you this little view a go. So obviously you've never had these before, but they're supposed to be America's pretzel bacon mm. since 1909. So they're called Cinders? Yep. Perfect display eating hot buffalo pieces, general chunks of, of spices. I like the way it says, partially produced with genetic engineering. <laughs> yes, so that's it. So let's get these bad boys open, shall we? Whoa! Are they radioactive? Yes, and those little bad boys. Whoa! That's that, that's like a clear that's sign that, or something. That isn't is it? like a hot chili smell. Oh, yeah. So let's get this that's what the drink's on standby. <laughs> this is, this is, no. Oh pop. Are they crispy? Oh that's oh. hot. They look really crispy for pretzel pieces. Mm. They more they more like nuts. Hmm. <laughs> Man, they are crispy. Mmm. Not spicy, really. But they've got, um, they have got like an aftertaste, but it's, it's got that kind of tingle to you. It is quite nice. Hmm. I did get a big bit there, so let's get a few small bits. I think after the root bit, my taste buds are shot, and I can't really taste the buffalo sauce. But there is a little bit of warmness there. Very nice. But most of all, I can taste the pretzel. Hmm. Nice. So I can eat them. They're very tasty. They're more. Mm. It's quite a big bag. Like. Hmm. Um, well, we didn't stay in the UK. Yeah, I mean they're weird. They don't really look like pretzel pieces. Like our pretzels are like shaped like little crepes, and these are yeah. like. They could get a load of that. That's huge. Uh, I keep drinking this water beer, but it's it's still not going on me yet. Oh, no, no, yep. Yeah. The more you eat, the more you get the buffalo sauce. Yeah, the more you eat, the more you get the buffalo sauce. So that's a little tip. So let's go try some more of these bad boys. Try and we? think of buffalo wings when you're eating them. Oh. They're okay, they're not massively hot. They're not hot. No. They just got a little warm. The warm taste to it. Mm. There's nothing but they're nice massively moorish. Very moorish. Mm. It's just a thing with American food because everything that they have is very Moorish. Do they put something in them, you think, to make them really Moorish? Because we get that with Pringles, don't we? Yeah. But you know, it's not. 
But it's because. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's awesome. It's the same though, because our favourite our favourite snack is Lay's. Yeah, yeah. They have a barbecue flavour. Oh yeah. Sorry. Mm. But you just don't taste like the do way you have. No. So Lay's is very awesome, the barbecue flavour is awesome. And you many other foods you look at there. Oh, quite nice. I mean, when I first saw them, I thought they're like tea Fridays. Hmm. Because they had that kind of look on the wrapper. Yeah, they do, don't they? They do. But they're not bad. Not bad. Oh, that was short and sweet. I'll honestly be sure that. So, marks out of 10 for those. Hmm. They're great, I think for flavour, a six. Yeah. I think for Moorishness, an 8 to 9. An 8, because you want to keep eating them. An overall, a 7. Mm -mm. Yeah. For those? Yeah. So. I have expectations. Yeah. Um, the, I think the winner of the day is the yeah, that cream one. soda. Yeah, it's definitely um, this one. And these are 179. No, yeah, at the moment. So Tesco. What offer at the moment? Tesco is doing them for £1.45. 40, yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. Um, but normally they're like one one seventy, one eighty, a bottle, which is pretty reasonable. I think uh, good. For, uh, this is actually growing on me now. I rather like this one. I think I'll get some more. Yeah, this is growing on the me. Root beer is growing on you. Mm. Mm. First, it tasted like cough syrup, but now it's it's. <laughs> it's just like drinking out of the seed. And now it's just getting a bit a better flavour to it. So I suppose the best you get, the more you drink of it. It's so this better. says this says it's microbrewed with real vanilla beans, and that's. Yeah, this is in nest. Winner nest out found in Bedbridge. Oh yeah, it's, it's kick ass really. These drinks are awesome. I stick with the vanilla. I think this is kick ass. I mean, like this. Cheers. Cheers. I think this is awesome. So if you see them. Take them out. Take them out if you like this sort of thing. They do loads of different flavours. Obviously, Pizza Hut do them, which is really awesome. Um, Pizza Hut only do the cherry flavour. Oh, but it is awesome. But it's more money than this. It's about yeah. £3.50. I think. Obviously, because it's drinking a restaurant. Yeah. And if you That's want good. the ice cream flavour, it's £4 something. Yeah, it is. It is £4. Yeah. Um, but about three eighty for the bottle, I mm. think. Considering for price, I would go to Tesco's. <laughs> or... Wherever you do your American food, because not every Tesco's do it, does it? No. I've known Sainsbury's do some American stuff now, so. Yeah, if you're in the UK. Yeah. Oh, and obviously, if you American people want to send us loads of American food to try out, Ooh, we'll, love it. <laughs> we'll love to try them out. So, any, any American followers that we have. Yeah. Anyway, so, there you Until go. Until then, cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Until the next video.